بسم الله والحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله. The next set of verses of Surah Amma, Allah Azza wa Jal describes the events, the event of Al Qiyamah. What will take place? Allah Azza wa Jal says, "In the day of the judgment, it was a time." Indeed, the day of judgment is an appointed time. After Allah Azza wa Jal, in the last set of verses, listed evidence of his ability to create and resurrect, and that there will be a day when people will be gathered for account, he starts addressing this day. And gives some details, some terrifying details about the events of the day of of uh, of Qiyam. See, the the believers didn't didn't believe that they will ever be gathered for uh, accountability, right? So Allah is telling them. It is an appointed time, and it will happen in that appointed fixed time, fixed by Allah, unknown to all of His creation. They didn't expect to be held to account, to be resurrected, or to be held to account. And unfortunately, <clears throat> I say, unfortunately, some of the Muslims. Live with the same mentality of the Quraysh when the Quran was revealed. What do I mean? I mean that some Muslims live as if they're never going to die, or if they die, they'll never be held to account. They act as if no one is going to hold them to account. They sin as if there is no Creator who is going to bring them back to life. And hold them to account for everything they've done. See, when one remembers and reminds himself all the time before he does something, well, wait a minute. If I do this wrong, if I commit this sin, I'm going to die, and then after that, I'm going to be held accountable for what I'm doing. If one thinks this way, rest assured, many of the sins that we do commit won't be committed. But we have to put our minds in that frame. We have to live according to in Naum al Fasli kana miqata. يَوْمَ يُنْفَخُ فِي الصُّورِ فَتَأْتُونَ أَفْوَاجًا The day the horn is blown and you will come forth in multitudes. A day will come and the horn will be blown and we will be resurrected. The first blow will be to put everybody to death. The second one to resurrect all creation. Between them, as the Prophet ﷺ said, and this is in Bukhari, on the authority of Abu Hurairah, he Abu Hurairah he said, between the first and the second blows, there are forty. But he did not say forty what. So people asked him, forty days. He said, I refrain. I can't confirm. They said forty weeks. He again said the same thing. Forty months. He again said the same thing. They say forty years, but there's another narration, as an Imam Qurtubi said, that confirms that the time between the first and the second blow will be forty years. وفتحت السماء فكانت أبوابا and the heavens 
and the heaven is opened sama dunya the heaven is opened and will become gateways like doors it will split it will crack open see this great creation that we were talking about what Allah addressed when he was given the cosmic signs that will crack open on the day of judgment وَيَوْمَ تَشَقَّقُ السَّمَاءُ On the day when the heaven will crack. On that day, when the heaven cracks, the angels will descend in huge numbers and they will surround the entire creation. All humans will be surrounded by rows after rows after rows of angels. On a plain land that doesn't have a dent in it. Can you can you visualize this? Can you imagine how terrifying this will be? If someone is surrounded by a huge army of humans like himself, look like him, he'll be terrified. He'll be scared to death. Now people will be surrounded. By angels, the Prophet ﷺ said, I was permitted, I was given the permission to give a description of one of the angels of fire. He said between his earlobe and his shoulder is a distance of a hundred years. That's one of them. Imagine you're surrounded by millions of these. What state of fear will you be in? وَسُيِّرَتِ الْجِبَالُ فَكَانَتْ سَرَابًا And the mountains are removed and will be but a mirage. Allah Azza wa Jal will destroy, will crush all these huge mountains we spoke about, which he addressed the Quraysh with. They will become, as Shaykh Al-Uthaymeen said, they will become dust and then blown. Blown away with the wind. These mountains will become dust crushed to dust. So what will happen to us? This is scary, brothers. This is really terrifying. Thinking about this should make us take our lives more seriously. It should make us focus on the hereafter and work as if we're about to die and be resurrected because this is actually our state. Because no, none of us know when we will be put in that small hole and buried in a grave. And the qiyamah of every person starts when he dies. As the Prophet ﷺ said to Aisha, Alam ta'lami. Did you not know that whoever dies, then his qiyamah has started? Thinking about these verses, brothers, it's scary. And it should be scary. It's intended to scare us. Not for the mere reason of terrifying us, but so that we act. So that we improve, so that we change our lifestyles. We ask Allah's protection. We ask Allah Azza wa Jal to enable us to live according to the Quran. Make, a Quran, make the Quran. 
code of our life. Make the, to make the Quran govern our lives. Allahumma ameen. This is the end of this set uh, addressing the, the day of resurrection. And we will conclude with this, uh, this session. And we'll continue in the following, inshallah. Subhanakallah, bihamdika, shalwa, la ilaha illa, and istaghfirullah.